Hi everyone, Veronica Wasek here with the 5 minutebookkeepingcom blog where we show you how to minimize bookkeeping and maximize profits. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add expense transactions into the bank feeds or the bank transactions window in QuickBooks Online. So um, I showed you earlier in a separate video how to match expense transactions, and now you will learn how to add those money out or expense transactions. So make sure that you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel so you can get all of the latest videos, and visit my blog at 5minutebookkeeping.com. Now that you have connected QBO to your bank accounts, let's go over adding expense transactions. We'll start first with a credit card account. Go to the Banking Center. Select Banking from the left navigation bar. Select your credit card account. And below, we'll see the transactions for that credit card. I'll go ahead and minimize this upper section so we have more room. Let's look for a transaction under the spent column. Those are our money out transactions. So let's take this transaction for example. Here's the date of the transaction, the description that downloaded from the credit card account. We see that there is no payee in the payee field. Right now it's showing that it's an uncategorized expense and showing an amount of $150. Okay, so let's work with this transaction. I'll go ahead and click so I'm highlighting this transaction and clicking anywhere to view the details. And again, as I pointed out, there is no payee or vendor name showing. And we want to go ahead and add a vendor name. You'll notice that this vendor has not been added before. So I'll go ahead and click Add. For type, I'll leave it as Vendor, since this is a vendor. And I'll click Save. So that has added that vendor name to QBO. Now here's something to be very careful with, which I told you about in a previous video. At this point, QBO doesn't know how this transaction should be categorized. So it's just saying uncategorized because it doesn't know. So what I want you to do is to find the right account for this transaction or the right category. Just click on the arrows here. And we are looking for an expense type account. So if you can see here, these are expense accounts. So looking for an expense account or a cost of goods sold account. In this case, we'll go ahead and put this to stationery and printing or whatever the correct account is. Here we can see the description that downloaded from the credit card account. This will show up in the memo fields in your reports. You can go ahead and change this or leave it as it is. I'll go ahead and leave it as it is. And I'll click Add. When I click Add, this will be added to QBO. Let's go to the checking account and find more transactions to add. Here's another one. We'll click on it, add a payee or vendor. We'll add it if necessary and save. Categorize the transaction. We're looking for an expense account or a cost of goods sold account. If the description looks good, we'll leave it as it is and click add. Now here's where the exciting part happens. We just added a transaction and there was another transaction in our banking window that is also from A1 Rental. Now QBO begins to learn and starts to auto categorize these transactions. So QBO went ahead and added the vendor name and also is suggesting that we use the job expenses equipment rental account that we used earlier. If this all looks correct, then you can go ahead and click add. Now as a word of caution again, this category account is a suggestion. So if this is correct, you can add the transaction. If this is not correct, perhaps it's some other type of expense. Go ahead and click the account, select the right category, and then click Add. 